English language learners are a, a group of students who can benefit from really having the content boiled down to the elements. You want to make sure that you're speaking slowly and clearly, not necessarily loudly, but you want to just make sure that you have the English, that it's common English. You try not to use a lot of phrases or vocabulary students might not be familiar with or haven't learned. So when you're talking about concepts that have deeper words like mathematical words or scientific words or you know, other type of technical jargon, you need to add a lot more structure so that they can be successful at those concepts. They definitely can, can and do understand the concepts, but you have to support them by illustrating those concepts, perhaps with visuals. The more visuals, the better, because a picture says a thousand words, and that will help them follow instructions. And then you, if you can use grouping, Students feel much more comfortable when they're learning a new language to be able to use that uh, language in a small group setting with a partner, with a group, instead of with the whole class when everybody's looking at them, he or she, and they're struggling with the language. It's very embarrassing. So by doing that, you enable a student to engage in school and engage in learning and feel welcome so that they want to continue to be there and learn.